Hi everybody! Today I am actually at the Equigenera event. They are having a pop-up event here in Trenton. So me and James are here. We are here to go check out everything and see what they got. So let's go! We just got back from the plant event and overall I think it was okay since I did go on the last day there wasn't that many plants left they still had a really good selection but nothing that really kind of stuck out to me or anything like that usually on the last day they have a discount where all the plants are 20% off but this time around you actually had to buy three plants to get the 20% off so I did end up finding three plants so that I could get the discount so I'm just gonna show you guys them now so I did get three anthuriums there was 
wasn't that many philodendrons to my liking there. They had a few Hoyas, but nothing that really stuck out this time around. And I felt like some of the prices were a little iffy. Um, it didn't really seem like it was worth it. I got this one here. It's looking so nice. It looks like it's growing beautifully. And it has this beautiful red new leaf coming in. And from what I can tell from the container it's in, it does have a lot of good roots. In the clips that I showed you guys, there were imports and there were plants that were not imports. The imports are the ones that come in the bags and they don't have a pot or no soil or anything like that. And then the ones that are potted up like this, that means that they came from their Florida greenhouse. So they're a little bit more established. You don't really have to worry about importing them or anything. So if you are going to one of these pop-up events, I highly recommend going for the ones that are potted up versus the imports. The imports there today were not looking good. Um, a lot of them were just pure yellow and I've had some really bad experiences with their imports before. That's just my own experience. You know, it's different for everybody, but this one is gorgeous. I wanted the non-hybrid, but they just weren't looking that great. But I overall, I'm just very happy with how the new leaf comes in like that. So I feel like this was a good purchase. And the price for this was 85 before the discount. The next plant that I purchased was this seedling hybrid anthurium. It's really tiny. It has a new leaf coming in. But overall, I thought it was a good deal because I would get the discount on it. Um, I've been wanting one of these hybrids for a while now. So I'm happy that I can grow it from a little seedling. And and this one was 50 before the discount. And then the last one I got was this Anthurium. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time and I've never seen it at the Equigenera event. This one has a good amount of leaves. Some have some like damage, some speckles on it, but overall I think it's pretty good. It does have a rip in this one, but I did get five leaves, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's very tall. And this one actually does have an inflow on it. Um, a lot of their Anthuriums usually do when you go it's not a surprise to see them i have purchased um a few anthuriums that had them before but all of these ones did have them but i think that it's already spent i'm gonna give it a few days and see what it does i've never cross-pollinated a plant so i can't really tell if this one is already spent or if it's just starting off but i'll watch it in a few days and see what it does very happy with this purchase it's gorgeous this is a beautiful leaf right here and it does have like a new leaf starting at the bottom so i'm super excited for that and this one was 60 before the discount so i'm actually gonna go ahead and repot these plants in this video i like to always just repot the plants right away I'm gonna be answering some questions that you guys have sent me on Instagram if you're not following my Instagram I highly recommend that you do because I post on there every single day except for Sunday and that's where you can ask me questions talk to me I respond to all my DMS all my comments make sure you're following me there and I'm gonna be answering some questions that you guys send over all right you guys so I am sitting on the floor because the floor is just more comfortable for me when I'm doing this usually I do sit on the floor when I'm doing like the repot but um I have the best lighting in the greenhouse so <laughs> I figured I would just do it on the floor like we always do so this right here is my soil free potting mix that I use for all of my plants when I say soil free I mean specifically there is no type of potting soil in this mix it's mostly just like soil amendments like cocoa husk perlite charcoal and a few other things and I just prefer a more chunky mix for the plants. I do have a lot of my plants also in semi-hydro and LECA or pond. However, I do enjoy using just regular potting mix for bigger plants and for plants in this situation that are already established in soil. It's an easier transition than me trying to get them into semi-hydro like right away and possibly like risk losing them. So I did change my clothes. You can probably tell because um, I don't want to get my nice clothes dirty. So I'm just in leggings and a t-shirt and I have the camera facing down so that you guys can see a little bit better cookie is right here so you'll see her in and out of the camera um, I've talked about her before she just loves to hang out in here she doesn't eat the plants or anything she just likes to be in here and be involved so she's gonna be here with us we have the three plants from Equigenera that I got I am going to repot them right away the reason I like to repot my plants right away is just because you just don't know what is in the soil like you can see here it just is very dense and it looks really icky I don't know what's in there but I want to get this out because because, you know, 
there could be pests and stuff in the soil and that's just not something I want to bring in my home. To each their own, you do not have to repot your plants right away. I'm someone who repots all of their plants right away no matter what and they have been fine. You do whatever is best for you but today I'm going to be repotting my plants from Equigenera. So about a week or two ago I asked you guys to send me a bunch of questions on my Instagram story and you guys sent me so many questions that I'm actually probably not going to be able to get to all of them today but I do have them all and if we don't get through all of them today we can definitely get through them throughout the next like repotting video or something like that because I do only have three plants so I'm gonna try to get through as many as I can and I'm gonna try to answer them as fast as I can as well so we can get through more so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and stuff like that I'm just putting on gloves because you guys know I do not like to touch like soil and stuff like on my hands and ruin my nails so I do wear gloves for this okay so I'm just gonna jump right in this is the Anthurium crystallinum cross with the regal or regale. It's a little seedling. Um, I'm just gonna use this brown bag that they came in to like get rid of the old soil. And the first question, I'm just gonna jump right in. The first question was actually, what is your boyfriend's background and how did you guys meet? Which I think is hilarious that you guys even wanna know anything about that man. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, my boyfriend, his name is James. I talk about him a lot because he is obviously somebody very special to me. And he is 100% in this plant hobby with me. I've talked about it before, how he is very supportive and he does help me with the plant shop a lot. He waters like plants for me. He helps me ship plants. He even drops off the packages sometimes for me at the post office or even does like local like pickup drop offs and stuff like that. I'll throw up some pictures of James and I on the screen so you guys can see. As for James background, he is Chinese and Vietnamese and I am just African American. So we met a few years ago at a party that kind of neither of us wanted to be there um not necessarily like didn't want to be there but we didn't feel like going out that night i went out with one of my girlfriends and he went out with his friend i remember that night my friend kept like saying oh my god let's go to this party come on i don't want to go by myself and i just kept saying no like you guys i did not want to go i was like i do not feel like going out and she was like come on like let's just go it'll be fun and i was like fine so me and her went to the party i ended up met meeting james there and then while we're at the party james he says that he introduced himself to me. I don't remember that at all, but one day I'm gonna have to do a video with him so that he could explain his side of the story because I just, I don't know. But <laughs> he claims that he came up to me and said something to me, but I don't remember that at all. So we didn't exchange info. He got my info through a friend later on. And then we literally went on a first date like a week later. And then we started talking every single day. And then we ended up just getting together. Nothing like too crazy or anything like that. But yeah, that is how James and I met. <laughs> and yeah, so I am very grateful for James. He is a big help for me with this business of mine and supports me with like social media everything like that like he does everything everything that i need him to do like he'll always help me he is a big help in my life and I appreciate him and love him so much for that. He does have his own business as well. Um, James is actually a tennis coach and he does own a tennis coaching uh, business. This is the little seedling. I'm actually shocked to see all the roots can see them here it looks pretty good it does have like two leaves that have like little rips in it but the roots are pretty good so what I think I'm gonna do actually because I'm really picky I'm gonna unpot them all first and then off camera I'm just gonna go to the sink and rinse them off I don't know I just like don't like when like there's like remaining like soil like that I'm just gonna go through and unpot them and keep answering questions and then I'll be back on camera and we can like pot them up or whatever I'm actually really glad that I got this plant to be fair I didn't have any intentions on buying absolutely anything from Equigenera I never have any intention of buying anything from them and I don't know why I don't know I think I just have like I have like a hate love relationship with them I'm always gonna go and I'm probably always gonna to spend money this one is just freaking insane like the new leaf comes in red like that that's what got me and like this leaf is gorgeous so I'm gonna take this one out next all right so the next question that I got was what is your favorite country that you have visited and what's a country that you plan on visiting next honestly I've only ever traveled outside the country 
to Mexico and Dominican Republic. Um, I've never traveled anywhere else outside of the country. I've been to Mexico probably like five or six times now and I've been to the Dominican Republic once. Obviously Mexico is probably my favorite because I tend to keep going back there. If I could travel somewhere and like money wasn't like an issue, I think I would like really would want to go to um, Bali, Indonesia. James and I have talked about this before that that's something that's like really like on our bucket list of something to do. I just feel that it's just a really beautiful place and I think it would be a wonderful trip to experience. And another country I would like to visit one day is probably like Japan. James went a few years ago and you know, he always talks about how great it was of a trip and that he wants to take me there one day. Yeah, I probably would like to go to Bali, Japan, and um, I actually do want to visit Canada because one of my best friends, Sarah, she lives there. So <laughs> I want to go to Canada to visit Sarah. This is this guy, and then like I said, I'm gonna take him to the sink and clean him off first before I do anything. The next question was, do you prefer pond or do you prefer your potting mix? I think I'm gonna change it though and say, do you enjoy semi-hydroponics versus like uh, soil-free potting mix? I definitely love Pond and Lekka. I love the idea of being completely soil-free, like just semi-hydroponics. I love that idea. It's just, it's just not realistic all the time. Um, like in this situation right now, I'm repotting these plants me trying to get them into semi-hydro is probably like a death sentence like waiting to happen so um i like the option of having both i do absolutely love pond now and probably any type of propagation that i take is going to get into pond in the future i would definitely say that pond is my favorite going completely like semi-hydro for me i just feel like it's just unrealistic and um it would be really like risky and time consuming for me. So like I love semi-hydro, it's just sometimes it can be really scary and like a pain, especially when you have really expensive plants. So yeah, I do love it. It's just, I just gotta be realistic, you know? So this guy, oh my gosh. Can you guys see these roots? Like they are thick. I'm obsessed with this plant. I'm so glad that I saw this guy. I'm just gonna go to the sink real fast and clean these up and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back with the cleaned roots. They're not 100% clean because I don't really need them to be, but I like them like sort of clean. So that's that. This little guy, the seedling, I am actually gonna pot it in this four inch round clear pot that I have. All the pots that I'm using to pot these plants are actually on my website. This one is the four inch and it has the drainage at the bottom. It's really sturdy. It's really nice. So this one's gonna go in here and I'm just gonna continue answering the questions. All right, so the next question was, what was your dream job as a child? So this is actually a really funny question. Um, and I feel like I get this question a lot from people. The dream job I wanted as a child was no lie to be a marine biologist. I love the ocean. I love water. I love like sea life, everything like that. I love everything about it. I've always wanted to work in an aquarium. Like this story is really sad now that I like look back on it, but it's, it's, it's fucking hilarious to me now, but whatever. So do you remember when you were in high school and you got like assigned a guidance counselor and that guidance counselor, you would talk to them about like, um, like what did you want to do for college and stuff like that and they would help you like your senior year like get to where you were trying to get to and i had this guidance counselor who was awful like and come to find out like she legit was awful um like she got like fired or something i told her i wanted to be a marine biologist and i told her that every single year and she basically like called me like an idiot like 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 she she honestly was like low-key calling me like dumb and she was just like, oh, well, that's a lot of school. And I just don't think that like, you know, that's gonna work out for you. Why don't we think about something else? Why don't you do like a trade instead? And she like automatically signed me up for this technology school that was like across the street from my high school. She signed me up into a trade program to do cosmetology. I don't know why, 
I never told her that I wanted to do hair, nails, nothing. I, I never, I swear on my life, I've never said that. And back then, like when I was a kid, like I didn't know how to speak up for myself. And I was just like, okay. Now looking back on it, it was like so stupid, but like I should have fought for like what I wanted. You know, don't let anyone tell you that you can and you can't do something because that's so messed up. But yeah, she signed me up for cosmetology school. And then I told my friend about it while we were in school and then she ended up signing up too so then we went together so I was like okay cool whatever I don't care I didn't really have any plans for college or anything like that because at the time I honestly couldn't afford college so I ended up graduating high school and then I actually did finish cosmetology school I had to do two years of cosmetology school I am a licensed cosmetologist so yeah I ended up doing the cosmetology school because um, since I was in high school when I started it it was free so I actually didn't have to pay for cosmetology school and me at the time I was just like well this woman must know what's best for me and that's just it so I did it and I passed and I got licensed and I still have the license um, I ended up working in two hair salons, which was cool, but um, very um, not my not my personality. Um, it's very catty. I didn't like it. And actually, one thing about me, I never went to college. Um, yeah, I I don't have a degree. I've never went to college a day in my life. And now, full time, I am actually I work in finance. And I actually recently just got a promotion in another finance. Uh, role so yeah I wanted to be a freaking marine biologist and I still do want to be a marine biologist y'all like I do that is my dream if I could be a marine biologist I 100% would drop everything that I'm doing right now and do it like I 100% would this plant is pretty much done they had like bigger versions of this plant lately I'm like trying not to get like too many big plants um especially anthurians because we all know how big they are I know the two that I got are kind of like medium size this is this guy it's in this clear pot so yeah this guy is all done and all potted up you guys asked me so many questions um I'm trying to just like go through them as fast as I can so sorry if I'm like rushing but I do only have like three plants but the next question was actually really funny to me. Somebody asked me like what I eat in a day. <laughs> like I guess like my daily like food routine. It says like lol I'm nosy or something. Like it's just funny. Um, I usually don't eat breakfast and sometimes I'll have lunch or have a really late lunch and it's usually leftovers from the night before. Since I work from home and I am super busy, um, sometimes I don't finish like my regular job until like six o'clock and then I do like plant like stuff and then now it's like eight o'clock and James gets home around like nine o'clock so since we're so busy and I don't really have that much time to do grocery shopping and thinking about what meals I want to eat and we have this habit of getting bored of food really quickly and we tend we would always like eat the same food every single week we've been doing HelloFresh for about probably almost six months now and we are on the HelloFresh plan where we have five meals a week this is not sponsored it should be sponsored because I talk about HelloFresh all the time to all my friends and, and I got my mom on HelloFresh and everything. But yeah, like it's been a life changer for us. And then every Sunday you have like a list of like 30 meals that they have for like the menu for the week and you pick the meals that you want. So they have like all types of different meals um, on there and then you get a brown bag in the mail with all of the ingredients to make the meal and then it gives you instructions on how to make it and it's taught us so many different ways to cook than what we're normally used to and it's also been a great experience for me to try meals that I normally wouldn't. I've been doing HelloFresh and it helps with portion control and everything is measured out for me and it just makes my life so much easier that I can go in my fridge and literally it's like in a brown bag and it's labeled like each um each recipe I can pick up the bag everything is in there and then I just cook it and then it's done normally we pick stuff like rice bowls with like meat and vegetables like that's the type of type of food that we like and then um, I'll try to always throw in something that we normally wouldn't ever order or eat um, in there just to, to get us to try something new so yeah that's um, basically what we like to eat. We do HelloFresh and then we, on the weekends, we'll kind of just freestyle or we'll just order food or go out to eat, stuff like that. I'm gonna pot this one in a five inch. This pot is also on our website. Um, this is the five inch crystal clear pot. It is 
the same as the four inch that we just did um it has the drainage holes at the bottom i'm just gonna pop this guy up as well i just really like clear pots because of the aesthetic number one i like how sleek they are i don't like cover pots um i was into it for a little bit when i first got into plants but not anymore um but yeah i like the clear pots because if anything's going wrong with the plant like root rot or something you can see it right away all of my plants are in clear pots so this guy is all potted up i really just cannot get over this plant like the colors i think i'm at that phase of my plant collection where i want to start collecting anthurium hybrids this leaf right here this red is crazy looking and I'm just obsessed. So this guy is all finished. And then when I'm done everything, I'm gonna just take them to the sink and give them a good water and then stick them in the Ikea cabinet. All right, so the next guy is this one here. This plant is really tall now that I like look at it. So I did pick out the 5.5 deep pot. This one is much taller than the other pots um i'll do a side by side comparison so you can see this one is in a five inch regular and then this is the deep pot so you can see the difference this is great for these type of plants that are really tall it has the drainage on the bottom but it also has side slits with drainage on there as well and this is in a five and a half so the next question is how do you balance your youtube Instagram, TikTok, your nine to five, and your plant business and any other type of social media. This is a great question because a lot of people don't realize how much stuff that I actually do. <laughs> I obviously told you guys I do work in finance. Um, I have a regular nine to five job. Well, if you wanna get technical, uh, I start at seven. Sometimes I don't finish until six, seven o'clock at night. Um, I own my plant store which is an official llc business i do manage my plant instagram as well my plant instagram is my main source of content creation that is definitely a job for me because i get paid to make content on there i post things of my own collection i advertise the shop on there i do reels all types of stuff um i'm trying to get it back into the tiktok as well so i have a tiktok i do have a pinterest that i manage as well for the shop um, I have a Facebook for the shop as well that I post reels on and things like that. <laughs> um, then, you know, obviously the shop itself, YouTube. YouTube I started, I think, in August, late August. And then just like my regular daily life. So yeah, I have a ton of things like on my plate all the time. Um, and that's because I want it like that i don't want you guys to think that i'm complaining that i have so much stuff going on um it's not complaining it's just yeah i'm actually trying to set myself up for a good future so this kind of ties into the next question too the next question was um do you plan on quitting your nine to five and focusing on your plant store and youtube and that yes that is the goal pretty much ever since i started my instagram i really hustled on there to gain the traction I post every single day on there. I like really don't miss a day on Instagram at all. Um, I recently started taking breaks on Sunday because it's just been a lot of work for me. I am trying to set myself up for a good future that I can make that extra income um, off of social media. Everything that you need to make money on social media is right in front of you. Just know that there's tons and tons and tons of opportunity on social media to make money to get out of that toxic corporate life that we're all living in. Because I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, I do not like my job. And that is why I looked elsewhere and I just recently got a promotion. And honestly, I don't think that I'm ever going to like my finance job. I don't think that I'm ever going to like working in corporate because it's just not something that I wanna do. It pays the bills, of course, but it's not something fun. I'm not doing it for fun, you know? Like, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to get fired or anything. <laughs> I'm just saying like, you know, realistically, like I'm gonna be a hard worker. I'm gonna get my work done at like at my nine to five and everything, but, but I wanna set myself up for an even better future and give myself the opportunity. I will never know unless I try. And that's why I try so hard on Instagram, TikTok, and now YouTube, because I know the amount of money, especially from here on YouTube, 
the amount of money that you can make on YouTube is insane and that's all I'm gonna say about it so do not knock it before you try it and yeah I'm hoping that in the next few years I can be done with that nine to five and focus completely on my LLC and do this like you know I, that would be a wonderful experience so yeah managing it all is um it's not easy some days I don't want to do anything some days I want to give up but I just keep trying to remember that long-term goal of setting myself up for a really good future I'm trying to buy a house next year so I'm trying to save as much money as I can and all this extra income from social media is actually helping me a lot I really don't know how I'm managing it all I'm just home all the time and I'm just creating content that's literally it like I'm just home creating content all the time because I just don't want to give up and I don't want to quit I, I didn't mean to go on a little rambling event there but I definitely did and I apologize about that I know you guys want to see the plants too but <laughs> um, that question it it just it means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to a lot of people because a lot of us are feeling very trapped in that corporate life I just know that there's just more to life than working a corporate job I just know that there's so much more to life and there's so so much like more happiness than me working a corporate job and yeah it pays the bills and I'm gonna get the work done I'm gonna be a great worker I'm gonna do everything I can um, to succeed in that corporate job but I also wanted to start thinking about myself the reason why I'm doing so much social media and um, everything else and my plant store is because I I, I want to focus on me I want to invest in me and that's how you guys should be looking at this stuff is like we're all wasting so much time investing into a company that doesn't care about you and I'm just gonna say that because these corporate companies don't care you know we're wasting so much time investing into them when we could be investing in ourselves so really think about that you got to do something to get there and me doing all this stuff is me doing something for me to get there I'm like actively trying so at least I can say that I tried you know all right so this guy is looking really good in here you can see a little bit of his roots at the bottom but this pot was like perfect um, for this plant because he's so tall I'm still trying to decide where all these plants are gonna go um, they're probably gonna go in the mills bow but yeah that is like all the plants now they're all potted up I obviously did not get through all of the questions because there are so many but I have them saved for the next repot and I'll just keep adding to the list and we'll just keep going down the list and seeing like um, all the questions that we have in total and everything like that so yeah keep the questions coming and I'll definitely add them to the list I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye